Hello everyone and welcome to Just the Tip of Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time, which is both the title of the game and recognition that it has been 22 years since the last numbered entry in the Crash Bandicoot series. I love the OG Crash games, I really appreciate what the Insane Trilogy did, and I even played some of the post-Crash 3 games and didn't hate them. So this is your warning. I might be a little bit biased here, I, I absolutely adore Crash Bandicoot. From what I've seen uh, from trailers and demos, this looks promising, so I'm excited to check it out. Let's let's do this. My initials? Oh no, the internet's going to know my initials are Juf. Juf. Select a playstyle, modern or retro. When you die, you always continue from the last checkpoint. You have limited lives, run out and you must restart. I'm going retro. Why not? If it annoys the crap out of me, I'll just, I don't know, change it later. What is Bandicoot Battle? I guess these are questions that I'll answer for myself later on. Let's go, let's see if there's some subtitles, get those on. Oh cool, alright, you know what, that's really good. Uh, text style isn't really a thing that you see in a lot of video game options, but it, it is super, super helpful. Yeah, sure. That's handy. Hell yeah. Rude Awakening. So, my understanding of this is that the game has a couple of linear levels before you get to choose your level progression. I could be entirely wrong on that. I, I've basically just seen what's in trailers and what's in the uh, demos that got released for this game, and that's where I'm at. Crash Bandicoot. At last, I, the great yep. Neo Cortex, have you right where I wonder I if that's Clancy Brown. And now the cool if so. <laughs> oh good, Cortex has lost it. Hush, simpleton. Sweet, we're getting the gang back together. Face it, entropy. It's going to this is a straight-up continuation of Crash 3. At awesome. At Uka Uka and I attempt to free us from this prison. I won't sit idly by and listen to your inane ramblings for another decade. I, I would believe that Neocortex would ramble inanely. It's very on brand for him. I also love that this is the classic Uka Uka design. Aku Aku and Uka Uka, and in fact... All the characters got a, uh, had a weird amount of redesign over the, the last couple of decades. But they've kind of moved back to a more traditional style. There's some changes, but I think they're evocative of what the old games were going for. Yeah. Also, I, I need to say, I really do love the subtitle. It's ballsy, they're really committing to this. This is Crash 4. I fear it portends an event of reality shattering proportions. I feel it emanating from Insanity Peak. We gotta get to Insanity Peak. That sounds like a totally legit and normal place to go. Aku Aku's done with your shit, Crash. Alright. Well, that is a buttery smooth frame rate right there. And I can move with the D-pad. Perfect. Take that, guitar. Take that, bongos. Ah, oh, look at that cute little spiral ring thing. Floaty ring. I don't know what they call those. I don't get outside, you have to understand. We got the slide, we got the spin. We got the double jump right off the bat. Hell yeah. This, this feels good. I'm liking this so far. If, if the game just does this... Oh, hey! And also, you can launch people like you used to. If this game stayed at the- Ah! Anyway, as I was saying, if this game stays at this level for the entirety of its duration, then that's a solid four-star game. I think it has some interesting stuff to show off later on, though. I guess we'll see. Or I guess I'll see, and you guys will see later when I review this. Suck it, nerds! Not even dealing with your shit this time, hog. Man, why didn't Aku Aku just come with me? He was literally there when I woke up. He's the one who woke me up. He has no excuse to leave. 
Oh, that feels good. Jump on TNT to start the countdown. Man, back in my day, you didn't even get... Alright, mate, I'm talking about the old days. Back in my day, you didn't even get the uh, tutorial. It was, figure it out, idiot. See this glowing red thing? It explodes. Don't hit it with your spin, but maybe jump on it. And they didn't tell you that. You had to figure it out on your own. Kids today, don't know how easy they've got it. Is this a straight-up recreation of the first game's first level? Because this all looks very, very similar. Ugh. Oh no! I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have spun that one, I should have jumped on it. Uh, the music's on point. I gotta say that, it sounds very Crash Bandicoot. Like, updated graphics aside, everything looks and feels very Crash. Um, and the graphics, while they... I don't know, they've definitely got their own unique style to them. But I, I like it. I like this new style they're going for. It, we're not in tribal tattoo Crash Bandicoot zones. We're not in that area yet. Now this is new. This is a thing that Crash Bandicoot has never had. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 style grinding of rails. Is it weird? You bet your ass it's weird. But, I mean, it's it's fine. I imagine they're going to get a lot harder and wind up something like the uh, Donkey Kong Country minecart levels. But, um, yeah, if they do something neat with them, then that's a lot of fun. Man, you can get some spin on those spins. <laughs> you can get some spin on those launches is what I was trying to say. But then I said it dumb. And that's where we're at. Oh no! He hit me. Yep, this definitely feels like Crash Bandicoot. God, it's good to be back. Hell yeah. Gotta get those bonus levels. It's very important. The classic side-scrolling. Ah, oh, yeah! Get those crates. <gasps> Ooh, hang on. Yep, gotta get that bigger bounce. It's very, very important. Nice, nailed it. It's a cute couch with uh, Torna Bandicoot's face on the cushion. Uh, one of the things I do know about this game is that there are multiple playable characters. I know you can play as Crash and Coco, and I believe Cortex is also playable. But then there's also, I think, Dingo Dial and maybe Torna Bandicoot, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure on that last one. And that's... weird. I have to assume they all have their diff their own unique playstyles as well, which is going to be interesting to see. Man, that looks great. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh, too fast. Uh, I, my brain went too fast for my hands. I was struggling to catch up. Yes, get that classic, uh, that classic lives sound effect. Man, it is super weird to me that they would give you the double jump right off the bat. It kind of makes things really easy. Um, maybe? I, I mean, not too easy, though. Like, there's every possibility that I could mess up these jumps, you know? But, yeah, it, I definitely wasn't expecting to have the double jump right off the bat. I do find myself wondering, though, if I have the body slam. I don't know, I miss four things. You do have the body slam. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is a cool game. I missed I missed three crates? When? That's some really cute and very bouncy animations. Oh, okay. Gems and skins. Gems unlock skins. Earn gems by breaking crates, getting Wampa, finding hidden gems, and beating levels in three lives or less. Alright. That's awesome. I love unlockable skins. I think they're great. If you're one of those people who is okay with uh, microtransactions as long as they're cosmetic, you and I are going to have some problems because I'm a firm believer in cosmetics being a part of gameplay, like a driving force behind why people play games. So, yeah, seeing skins and stuff as rewards, hell yeah, I'm all for that. As long as there's no microtransactions that I haven't heard about. 
Gotta get that life. Crash crates give an extra life. You know, I probably could have figured that out without you helping me there, game. But what do I know? I'm no game dev. Auto grab. That feels good. Um, swinging mechanics aren't necessarily a thing that we're in. Classic Crash Bandicoot. But, uh, that feels fine. Oh, and you can slide up and down. Nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, I get the sense that I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Swing and a miss, my dude. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Ooh. Big Wampa. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. God, this is feeling real good, you guys. Oh. Why is that TNT box all cracked? Are they all like that and I just haven't noticed? There's definitely a level of detail to the boxes that I was not expecting. Uh, it's, it's a very nice looking game, this. I'll stop gushing about it one day. Maybe. No promises. Get that swing. Whoa. So the swing is automatic, you can't speed it up or slow it down, which, I mean, that's, that's fine. You're basically just trying to find the best height to jump off at. It's fine. Like, nothing I'm seeing here is particularly offensive, nothing here is particularly groundbreaking, it's just really good, solid fundamentals. Gotta get that bonus level. Yeah, the level design is just so... There's, there's something about the actual style of this game that that's, looks very bold. I really, really like it. Huh. Fuck, I missed... no. Oh. Get that life. Lives are important. Get yourself a life, kids. Y you don't understand how important it is. That's fine. Also, eat your fruit. Crash Bandicoot says to eat your fruit, and do it, because it's important. I thought maybe I could get under that TNT. Um, I was a fool. I was a damn fool to think this. Learn from my mistakes, children of the internet. There we go. Oh, yeah. That double jump saved my butt. I like the glowing rats that are <laughs> opening these doors for me. There's a lot of cool details just in the background. Uh, oh my god. Uh, uh. Oh my god! <laughs> Trying to get all these boxes and it messed me up. It messed me up something fierce. I gotta be real quick about this too. Oh no. <laughs> I gotta be real quick about it. Whoop! Down I go. So I get one of those gems for doing a uh, level in three lives or less. That's good to know. Ah! Woo! Woo! Look at me go! I was feeling it that time! What's this? You're not Aqua Aqua, I'm just gonna pick you up I guess. Don't mind me. Oh no, I Indiana jones it. <laughs> if I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. How you doing, buddy? What's what's the matter? Oh no. That's incredibly over-designed for something in a Crash Bandicoot game. <laughs> okay, hyperventilating Crash is a big mood. Oh no. Gotta get those run levels. <gasps> There's a gem! I'll I'll be back for you later. You gotta have your running into the camera stages. It's just not Crash Bandicoot. Unless you do. Oh oh no! Huh. So I do get like a little bit of a stun state if I run into those things. Good to know. It doesn't hurt me, but it does slow me down. Yeah, get that checkpoint. Oh boy. I almost messed that up. <laughs> I leapt before I looked. Note to self, kids. Don't do that. 
Don't don't leap before you look. Oh boy, this this is a real spike in difficulty all of a sudden. Well, I missed those ones. He can get them for me. Hey, hey, got all those crates? Yeah, boy. Hell yeah, Crash. Good job. And there's that hidden one that I missed, but that's fine. That's fine. Well, all right. We'll see what's going on here, and we'll probably call it. Really do like these cutscenes; they're very well animated. Like, Crash has so much personality. Hey, sister! Awesome. Aku Aku, where were you this whole time? No, don't mind me. I'll, don't help. I'll get myself up. That sounds like original Aku Aku. I'll have to look it up, but I think they got the original voice cast for this, which is great. I, I love the voices from OG Crash Bandicoot. It appears to be a door between dimensions. If it's not the original cast, they are doing a fantastic job of emulating those performances. My siblings, and fix this before some putz with a big evil plan and a bigger ego does something monumentally stupid. Is, I know that voice. That's a new character, but I know that voice. Uka Uka unknowingly paved the way for our bright future. Once yeah, he'll do that. generator is complete. Dominion over all of time and space <laughs> will be within our grasp. Such good animation, oh my god. You had some little projects you <gasps> Yay! To tell me about? The whole crew's here. There's only one thing I don't like about that engine, and it's his normal eye being the same size as his big mechanical eye. Oh my god. By my calculations, our enemies are already moving against us. And we will prevail. Once again, entropy, the scariest thing ever. As in real life, so he is in this video game. Alright, well, uh, we have the dimensional map, so I guess I could take a look at that. But uh, that's all the levels you guys get to see, unfortunately. I gotta play this in... Ooh. Do we have like a full-on linear style? Welcome to the dimensional map. Here you can select levels to play. Switch between Crash and Coco. Change skins and replay levels to take on time travels. Time travels? Time trials. I got time travel on the brain. Oh boy! I love Mad Max land. I mean Australia. Okay. So it looks like we're doing the whole linear progression thing, at least for now. Which, uh, that could be a lot of fun. It's very reminiscent of the very first game. But that'll be it for just the tip of Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. I look forward to reviewing this. I, I can't wait to tell you guys if this is, like, a return to form or if this is just, you know, pretty good. So far, I'm feeling really positive about it. It hasn't brought anything overly new to the table, but... I mean, it's Crash Bandicoot fundamentals at their best so far. After those two levels. I'm just super high on this, really. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.